students in this video we are going to solve one problem in relation to departmental accounting very important problem look at the board a hotel proprietor has two department namely apartment department and meals department apartment department means they are providing accommodation that is called lodging department and they have one more department called meals department they are providing food yes Following is the trial balance of his business. Debit balances are given, credit balances also given. Stock of provision in the beginning. This is opening stock of groceries. Provisions, which means groceries. Cash in and customer debit balance means debt are. Building worth 2 lakh 10,000, one tenth used for mills department. We can use this ratio for the division of depreciation. Furniture, general expenses, interest accrued life insurance income tax wages credit side income of mills department and apartment department capital supplier means creditor provision for depreciation on building if depreciation is given it will be recorded in the profit and loss account debit side here provision for depreciation on building is given it will go to the liability side then interest given in the credit side it is considered to be interest received yes then additional informations are given the servant in the apartment department had occupied room worth 120. So the servant of the apartment department using their own department which worth 120 and took meals worth 60. So the apartment department workers using the room worth 120 and they took meals in the meals department which worth 60. Similarly, the servant in the meals department had occupied room worth 150. So the meals department worker, they are staying in the apartment department and they consumed meals worth 90. Then wages are charged in proportion of half to apartment department. So out of total wages, 50% provided to apartment department, 1 by 4 that is quarter to the meals department and remaining to the general profit and loss account. Out of total wages. 50% recorded in the apartment department, one fourth quarter recorded in the meals department, remaining quarter recorded in the general profit loss account debit. Then increase the provision for depreciation on building to rupees 30,000. So already we have provision for depreciation 24,000. Now it will be increased to 30,000. So there is increase of 6,000 on provision for depreciation on building. Then accommodation worth 240 and meals worth 560 to be charged to the proprietor of the owner so owner staying in the accommodation department for 560 and he took meals worth sorry owner staying in the accommodation department worth 240 and meals worth 560 that means the owner staying in the accommodation department worth 240 and he took meals for himself 560 to be charged to the proprietor of the owner so it is charged to the drawing account here they are asking us to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet i drawn format the profit and loss account of mr name not given for the year ended 31 3 1992 we have two column debit side we have two column apartment department meals department credit side we have two columns apartment department and meals department in general profit and loss account no there is no department classification then I drawn the format of balance sheet. Now we will start. Stock of provision in the beginning. That is opening stock of groceries. Opening stock of provision. Provision not applicable to the apartment department. It is applicable to the meals department. Value 1020. Then we have provision. Provision means grocery purchase. It should be debited to the profit and loss account. In this problem, we need not to prepare trading account. Provision should be recorded in the meals department. Value 15,500. Then cash in hand. Third one cash in hand, it is an asset. Cash in hand, it is an asset. Value 10,000. Then we have customer debit balance. Customer debit balance means data. Customer debit balance means data value 800. Then building value 2 lakh 10,000. Buildings value 2 lakh 10,000. Earlier I said 
one tenth of building used for meals department that ratio we can use for the division of depreciation now we can ignore then we have furniture now we have furniture 60000 then we have general expenses general expenses debited to the general profit loss account general expenses debited to the general profit loss account its value 27410 then interest accrued it is an asset interest accrued it is an asset its value 200 rupees then life insurance life insurance is a drawing it should be deducted from the capital so capital plus or minus if it is net profit we should add if it is net loss we have to deduct so after that what we have to do we have to deduct drawings drawings life insurance we should record as drawing life insurance we should record as drawing its value 1600 then income tax also considered to be drawing income tax also considered to be drawing then wages already we know half of the wages debited to the apartment account so two wages total wages 6000 of which 50% recorded in the apartment department 50% 3000 One fourth, that is thousand five hundred, recorded in the meals department. Balance one by four, recorded in the general profit loss account debit. It is as per the adjustment. General wages, value thousand five hundred. Next, go to the credit side. Income of meals department and apartment department. It should be recorded in the profit and loss account credit by income. Meals department income thirty two thousand. Apartment department income forty six thousand. Then capital, then capital, it goes to the liability side two lakh twenty thousand. Then we have supplier. Supplier means creditor recorded in the liability side. Value nine thousand eight hundred. Then provision for depreciation. If it is depreciation is given, it should be recorded in the profit and loss account debit side. Here provision for depreciation is given in the trial balance, so it will go to the balance sheet liability side. Provision for depreciation on building since it has adjustment because they raised to thirty thousand, so it will be recorded in the balance sheet liability side in the inner column. Yes. Next one. Interest given in the credit side of trial balance, it is considered to be interest received. It will be credited in the general profit loss account by interest received. Its value one thousand one hundred and thirty. Then we will move to the additional information. The servant here, the servant department using the apartment department, the servant of the apartment department using the apartment department worth one twenty, and they took meals. Sixty. Likewise, the similarly the servant in the meals department had occupied room worth one fifty, and they took meals how much? Ninety. So for that we'll pro we'll prepare one chart. Apartment department. Apartment department. One more is meals department. Apartment department. Another one is meals department. Students, listen carefully. Now we will fill this apartment department. The servant in the apartment department had occupied room worth one twenty. So apartment department occupied room worth one hundred and twenty. At the same time, the apartment department workers took meals worth sixty. Likewise, the servant in the meals department had occupied room worth one fifty. The servant of the meals department had occupied room worth one fifty. They took meals ninety. Now. The total consumption of apartment department is one eighty. Total consumption of apartment department is one eighty. The total consumption of meals department is two forty. Then the total transfer from apartment department is two seventy. Total transfer from meals department is one fifty. Now, so the consumption should be debited. Consumption should be debited. It will be recorded in the debit side of profit and loss account. Right transfer. Transfer. 
apartment department 180 males department 240 then total transfer from apartment department and males department should be recorded in the credit side by transfer how much here? 270 and 150 yes now we completed wages adjustment already we completed then increase the provision for depreciation on building 2 rupees 30,000 already our provision for depreciation is 24,000 it will be increased to 30,000 so total increase of depreciation 6,000 now depreciation increased to 30,000 plus additional additional depreciation this depreciation should be debited to the profit and loss account provision for depreciation on building total value increased value 6000 this 6000 should be divided in the ratio of 9 is to 1 because 1 tenth of building used for meals so meals department using 1 tenth now apartment department using 9 by 10th so we should divide the provision for depreciation on building in 9 is to 1 so 6000 into 9 by 10 5700 5400 6000 multiplied by 1 by 10 600 students once again already provision for depreciation value 24000 now increased to 30000 so additional depreciation 6000 this depreciation could be debited this depreciation should be divided in the ratio of 9 is to 1 how we got this ratio already the problem says one tenth of building used for meals so one tenth used by the meals department so the balance 9 by 10 used by the apartment department so we should divide the total depreciation in the ratio of 9 is to 1 we completed then one more last adjustment accommodation worth 240 and meals worth 560 to be charged to the proprietor of the owner so owners drawing from accommodation department 240 meals dip from bills department 560 it will be credited in the profit and loss account as drawings he took accommodation worth how much 240 accommodation worth 240 meals worth 560 the same value should be deducted from capital as drawing apartment department drawing then meals department drawing apartment department drawing 240 <coughs> meals department drawing 560 students now we completed everything we'll close the profit and loss account we'll close the profit and loss account now we'll close the profit and loss account first we'll close the profit and loss account credit side apartment department 46000 plus 270 plus 240 so apartment department total 46 510 46 510 minus 3000 minus 180 minus 5400 the total 37 930 it is the net profit of apartment department now we'll close the profit and loss account of mills department the credit side total heavier than debit side will total the credit side 32,000 plus 150 plus 560 so profit and loss account credit side mills department total 32,710 32,710 minus debit side expenses minus 1020 minus 15,500 minus 1500 minus 240 minus 600 so the net profit of meals department is 13,840 850 now apartment department net profit and meals department net profit should be transferred to the profit and loss general profit loss account credit side by net profit BD apartment department apartment department net profit 37,930 meals department net profit 13850 now we will balance the general profit loss account general profit loss account also credit side value heavier than debit side yes 13850 plus 
37,930 plus 1130. So, the credit side total of general profit loss account is 52,910. 52,910. 52,910 minus general expenses 27,410 minus 1,500 which is general wages. So, balance net profit as a whole 24,000. So, net profit as a whole this net profit should be added with the capital. So, total 2,44,000 deduct all drawing. So, 2,44,000 minus life insurance 1600 income tax 400 apartment department drawing 240 so drawing from meals department 560 so the balance available is balance of capital available is 2 lakh 41200 add 30000 and 9800 so balance sheet liability side total 2 lakh 81000 now we'll add the asset side Cash in and 10,000, customer debit balance 800, building 210,000, furniture 60,000, interest accrued 200. So, asset side also we got 2,81,000. Students, we completed very important problem in departmental accounting. In next class, we will solve different problem. Till then, bye and thank you.